Hi, Internet. It's been a bit. I have a kitty here. He's purring like mad. You just can't hear him. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, wanted to check in with you all because I'm not doing so well. Um, as I kind of expected, I mean, it's been, what, six-ish months since I last did one of these? Uh, as I kind of expected, I'm not handling the pandemic well. Um, my mental health is bad. We'll just go with bad. And I'm having a lot of knock-on side effects from that. Um, my stress levels are high enough where... Well, so, backing up a little bit, I have high blood pressure. And it's almost certainly due to stress and nothing else. And this has been the case for a few years now. So this isn't new. But the severity of it is. Um, I was ordered on to blood pressure medication after my appendicitis, where they had to halt surgery preparations because my blood pressure was had a systolic of over 300. Uh, for reference, up to 120 is considered normal range, and above 200 is usually considered get to the hospital right now. So, I mean... <clears throat> admittedly, that was an uh, unusually high spike due to how much pain I was in from the appendicitis, but still, it was one of those, that's not good. So I've been on various blood pressure medications ever since. Unfortunately, turns out that I have major side reactions to all of them. We've been rotating through medications. I now have a whole bunch of new allergies listed on my allergy chart, and it's everything. So I'm on a blood pressure medication right now with a separate diuretic to assist with it that I'm allergic to both of them, but or both classes, I should say. So the idea is that the doctor was going to figure out which ones that I have the least bad side effects on, which is at the moment the ones that I'm on, and we're going to go from there. But my blood pressure kept rising, and rising, and rising, even while under various blood pressure medications. This one seems to have maybe done a little bit, but really the problem is that we're attacking a symptom and not the core cause, which is stress. Um, so, as a result of discussions with my medical team, I am going to be taking a medical leave of absence for four weeks from work. Now, that's not to say work is my primary form of stress. It's not. Um, 2020 is probably my primary form of stress. No, um, there's the political situation of the country I live in, which is the United States. Uh, there's the pandemic. There's the fact that I'm away from my partner. There's the fact that a pandemic causes me to be away from everybody. And for somebody like me, those are pretty much the worst case scenarios that I can have. Um, and I knew this going into the pandemic, that if it were to last too long, my mental state would start collapsing, and it has. Uh, this is different from depression. I'm, I guess you could say I'm used to depression at this point. I've been diagnosed with severe depression for, oh, a decade now? and probably should have been diagnosed before then, but medical insurance, and I live in the United States. So, yeah. So I'm going to be taking four weeks off to try and calm down, remove things from my mind, just try to relax as much as possible. Part of that is going to be that I'm going to be working on things that I've left incomplete. Um... The idea being that the more things I can finish while I'm on that four-week leave of absence, the more things that will vacate from my mind that I don't worry about. Even if they're really minor worries, it's something. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be working on completing some projects, which I'll be recording videos about. And uh, speaking of recording videos, so I'm not going to do a Vita or anything like that, or even... A vlog every other day most likely but I am going to be vlogging more often because I'm alone I mean I have my housemate here I talk to him 
that's about it. So I've tried to find ways of being around other people. So for reference, I'm an extrovert. I recover my social energy by being around other people to at least some extent. And to the pandemic, it has been seven months since I have been around other people in a social situation. My other than my partner who left, that would be four months ago? A little over four months ago? Four and a half, maybe? So, yeah, it's not great. And I've tried doing things like, you know, online chats, role-playing through video chat and so on, but... Uh, video quality isn't high enough. So what I think is going on is that I am taking all of the little itty bitty parts of people's facial expressions and their attitude sort of thing and the way they speak and their movement and all of their body language and almost hyper focusing on them. Uh, I'm usually extremely good at reading people. I'm usually extremely good at knowing how they're reacting to things and so on and trying to do this through Zoom, which will immediately squash your video resolution to 180p for some freaking reason, doesn't work very well for me. So I'm not actually getting my social fix, so to speak, um, when I'm doing those video chats. I get a little bit more from my partner through Google Hangouts, but that's a one-on-one -on -one video chat, and Google Hangouts does a very crappily compressed, but 720p. So while, yes, part of it is definitely because it's my partner, holy crap, I love them, but most of it is probably just that I'm not picking up on those unconscious cues as easily. So, yeah. Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, my memory is completely fried at this point. Um, so, some I give you an idea of some of the things that have been going on. Uh, my memory is lasting an incredibly short amount of time. I'm having both memory recall and memory writing issues, which is to say that I'm having problems remembering things that happened in the past, and I'm also having problems with committing things to memory that are happening now. Like, if you asked me, what did I do last week? I can't tell you. I've been recording a Let's Play series of Wild Arms 2, and I actually have to go back and watch the previous video when I start the next one, and they're only a week apart at most. The, this is not normal for me. My memory's not been the greatest, but it's nowhere near this bad. And it's almost certainly due to the amount of stress that I'm under. So yeah, the idea is that work is the largest form of stress that I have that I theoretically have any control over. Because I can't stop the pandemic. I can't go visit people because I am on medication that makes me three times as likely to actually catch COVID from any coronavirus exposure. And also in multiple major... Um, multiple groups that have major or high chances of the more major side effects of COVID-19. So, in short, yeah, no. Um, as much as I want to go for my yearly trip to Indiana for Thanksgiving, that's not viable. And that hurts. Because that's the way I recover throughout the year. That's actually my major form of stress relief is going on those trips, which happen minimum twice a year. This one's playing with something, I'm not sure what. He's behind the green screen. Anyway. Um, so yeah, the idea is that I take four weeks off and keep monitoring my blood pressure. I actually have a blood pressure monitor right here. It's always on my desk. So I'm supposed to monitor it like every other day or so. And, yeah. Hope that things get better. I don't like hope. Hope means that I am putting things out of my own hands. And that's always been a very uncomfortable experience for me. Because in my experience, that means it's not going to happen. And I'm scared. This came off more doom and gloom than I was expecting. Um, 
for reference, I'm doing generally okay depression-wise. For me, okay, I should say. I'm pretty sure for most people that would still be significantly depressed, but it's not like I'm even approaching suicidal. It's not like I'm... I'm not even disparaging myself in the mirror as often anymore. So if anything, I might actually be doing better than average. Um, yeah. Trying to think of anything else I wanted to cover in this video. It's already 10 minutes long. Um, the completing projects thing. So yeah, um, I'm going to be working on some of the things that I've left by the wayside, and that includes some video projects. So you may see more label series projects. You may see more computing projects. That's part of my idea. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done. I'm mostly going to try catching up on reading first, but as some of you may know that know me, I read extremely fast. It's not going to take me long to finish up this. Anyway, talk to you later, internet. I need to record some Let's Play videos. And I didn't wish you a good kitten. I apologize. Have a good kitten, internet, and I'll talk to you next time.